quick check in on the Tunzi auto top off controller and you can see the water level is normally right here but right now it's here and the reason being is my drip for my cock wash for dosing is right here and it coated the sensor over here and therefore the sensor couldn't see that the water level had dropped and this doesn't go off because it's only for when the water level goes too high so um, I'm glad I check my tank every day and just kind of glance at it to see if things are running and I noticed that that was off so zoom in a little bit there so what happens again the clock officer started coating the, the eye and it um, basically hasn't been filling up probably for mm, 12 hours or so um, so just wanted to share that Welcome back. Just doing a quick update on a handful of new products that I've been wanting to try out. Uh, we'll start with the one that's really not a new product. Um, adding another marine pure block to the tank. And we're going to give the Red Sea Respect Carbon a try. And I already have the Roa Foss working in the tank. First time trying that product. And then we're going to give the Aqua Forest Zeo Mix a run and see how the tank likes that. And finally, I'm going to add some reef pods to the tank. Um, these are tiger pods. And we'll do this um, at night right before the lights go out in the tank and we'll do an update on thoughts, opinions on these products. Alright, here's the first look at the carbon. Um, it comes sealed so that's a key difference um, from the uh, Seachem matrix carbon. Um, in the lid you have I guess a little instruction booklet. It does come with a pouch of this particular size which is the one in the middle. Uh, the thousand earlier. So here we are. First look at the Seacam Reef Carbon. Uh, we'll put so you can get a sense of what it looks like. And supposedly it is coconut base, is my understanding. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the label. Uh, and then let's compare that against the Seacam label. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this here. Raise this one up a little bit. Bring it over. And that should allow you to maybe pause it. Let's see. Get that in focus. Raise this one up.
Okay, so we'll take a quick look. We have the matrix carbon, which is a bead shape. And I believe per an article, which I'll try and link at the bottom, this is um, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right, carbon. Um, it's, um, and then my understanding is this is uh, coconut base. So this size is 1,000 milliliters, and this one is uh, one liter, which is basically a thousand milliliters or 400 grams. Um, the recommended dose and what I'm actually putting in my tank is a half a cup of the Respect Carbon and it will not be in the reactor. Right now in my tank I run about a cup of the Seachem Matrix Carbon in a reactor and that's pretty much what a cup looks like in the reactor. Um, so versus a half a cup. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's also cheaper. I think the maximum price for 2,000 milliliters is like 35-ish, um, maybe 34, depending on if you catch it on sale. This particular one was 1999 uh, from my local LFS, and I'm not sure how much this one ran. It's probably right about the same price. Um, so we'll see how the tank reacts to it and which one I decide to use going forward. Quick update on new shipment of frozen food. I picked this up at Petco and this will usually last me at least three months worth. Um, because I also feed uh, pellet food and a little bit of flake um, but the frozen food I've been stepping up especially with the salt water tank uh, usually it's the brine shrimp one or two cubes in the morning and then this is new um, marine cuisine it's a mixture of mysa shrimp, brine shrimp together So thought I'd give that a try. Uh, picked up two of these, and then the blood worms are for the freshwater tank, and then the beef heart is for the discus in the freshwater tank, and then mysis is um, either freshwater or saltwater. And one of the things I've been trying to do, and I feel that I've been successful, is getting more efficient with the food so I try not to buy specialized food for a particular tank I rather buy something that I can feed to both tanks and try and buy that in quantity um, but the discus does love frozen food in particular the beef heart and of course there's the blood worms Just a quick shot of that. And take a quick look at the tank. 